everyone, I'm Ellie, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install a skirt waistband. This is a great method and makes a very professional finish for all of your skirts. In order to follow along, you're going to be needing some fabric that matches your skirt, some interfacing, matching thread, a sewing machine, and of course, your mostly completed skirt. At this point, my skirt has already been pleated and has a zipper installed. So let's get started. The first step to creating your waistband is cutting out a piece of material. I'm using matching material to my already pleated skirt. I'm making my waistband as long as my waist plus two to three inches for overlap and then I'm gonna make it about five inches wide. This way, once our waistband is finished, it'll be about two inches wide. Once you have your material cut out, go ahead and press it to make sure it's all flat and has no wrinkles. After that, we're going to start adding our interfacing. I'm using a medium weight interfacing that I've cut to be the same size as my waistband. I'm using medium weight since it has enough body to keep my waistband from wrinkling, but it's not stiff enough that I won't be able to bend over or move around in my skirt. Make sure when you're attaching your interfacing that you have attached it to the wrong side of your fabric. Once it's attached, go ahead and flip over your waistband and iron it again from the right side. This will help remove any bubbles or wrinkles that may have occurred when you were attaching your interfacing. If you have any large ripples like I did, you can simply peel off the interfacing and then iron it back on. With our interfacing attached, we're going to fold our waistband in half and press that into place. Once pressed, go ahead and open up your waistband and fold up the bottom edge about a half inch and press that into place as well. We're going to do the same thing on the other side of your waistband. However, this time you'll want to fold it over a little bit more than a half inch. This way you have about a quarter inch of overlap where you can see one edge under the other. Having this little bit of overlap is very important to making a waistband, so make sure you don't skip this step. Now we are going to begin attaching our waistband to our skirt. As you can see, I already have my skirt pleated and it has a zipper installed. I'm going to take the edge that is smaller, so the shorter part of our waistband, and pin that directly onto my skirt, making sure to line up all of my edges so we have a very evenly attached waistband. Once this has been pinned, we can go ahead and attach it to our skirt with a machine straight stitch. Here you can see that I am stitching along that fold line, and this is very important. This is going to help our waistband be straight and make sure that it's all even across the entire skirt. At this point, our waistband is attached, but we have to finish off these raw edges. So I'm going to take both edges of my waistband that are next to my skirt and fold them with right sides together. Now I'm simply going to stitch these with a nice straight stitch. I can trim off all of my excess material and then flip these inside out. I did this for both sides of my zipper. Now it's important to note that I am using a hidden zipper. so. Both of my edges line up perfectly with the edge of my material. However, if your zipper is not hidden, you're going to want to add about an inch of extra material to the edge of your waistband. This way it can fold over on itself and complete a seamless finish. Now that my edges are finished, it's time to go through and finish the inside of my waistband. Since we already pressed both edges of our waistband to have those very nice creases in it, I simply have to fold over my waistband and pin it into place. I am, however, making sure that the edge of my waistband is a little bit lower than the stitches that attached my waistband. 
This way, when we go around the top and stitch in the ditch, it'll perfectly hit this material and keep everything secure. And now from the right side of our skirt, we're going to go ahead and stitch in the ditch. This means we are going to stitch as closely to the edge of our waistband as possible. Sometimes you might even pull up the top of your waistband so that way you can get right in that crease. As you can tell, this is something that I like to get my face very close to the material for. It's kind of hard to see what you're doing unless you're right up in its business. Once that stitch has been finished, you can tell that on the outside, you can't really see it but on the inside, it perfectly catches that other edge of our waistband. This is the edge that we made a little bit longer than the first edge, so it catches perfectly and finishes off all of our raw edges. I absolutely love the way that this method looks. It can be kind of complicated at first, especially if you've never done stitch in the ditch before, but I think it looks beautiful and it's a very professional finish for your skirt. The final step is to attach some sort of closure like a snap or some hook and bars and then go have fun in your skirt. Congrats guys and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Until later, keep sewing, stay positive and have fun. Bye!